Scanning documents on the iPhone is actually one of the simplest things you can do. And what happens is people forget how powerful the iPhone is on its own. And if you go into the app store, you'll see a whole bunch of these scanner apps. A lot of them are paid and a lot of them have in-app purchases. That's why in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can scan documents using the apps that are already available on your iPhone for free. Let's get started. So like I said, we're going to be using apps that are already on your iPhone to scan documents. And the first one is the notes app. So we're going to tap and open that up. You'll probably have a whole bunch of notes here. It doesn't matter. And we're just going to simply open up a new note. Now, once the new note opens, you'll notice a keyboard pops up with a bar on top. And that's what we're going to focus on. And the option is this little camera. Now, if we tap on this little camera, you'll see some other options appear, which is going to allow you to choose a photo to enter in scan a document, take a photo or video, or scan the text. We're gonna start with scan the document. So when we tap on that, a scanner app or option is going to appear on the iPhone. Now the way this application works within the Notes app is pretty simple. You have some options up here where you can do a manual or an auto, so automatically it'll scan the document when it sees it. You have some filters and things at the top, which I'll talk about in a bit. You also have save here, and anytime you scan anything, it'll appear at the bottom right there where you can tap and see a preview of it. But let's jump right into an example here. Grab a document that you need to scan. Make sure the background isn't the same color as the paper or page you're using. So this is perfect. It's pretty dark on the back. We've got a white paper here. And then all you're going to do is just take your application. You can see it's turning yellow. And then you're just going to lift it up and it'll grab the paper and when it's done, it'll scan it and it'll do that. Now, I'm just gonna move this out of the way, otherwise it'll constantly scan, so I can show you here quickly. We have our preview at the bottom, I can tap on it, and I have other options down here and at the top. If you make a mistake, tap retake, you can retake the scan. So let's just say retake. Once again, I just take my app, I hold it over, I can scan just like that, scan the entire paper. And if I have multiple pages, I can just hold them and have them scan again, just like this. It's going to constantly scan over and over and over. So I can keep flipping my pages and have multiple scans. And great thing is they all save in that same little spot there. So I can actually scroll between them all just like that and modify them. And they're all in the same file. Now in situations where you have the auto on and you're finding that it's scanning like that and you want it to stop tap auto at the top and then you can just use the shutter yourself at the bottom here so when you find that it's in its place you can see that it turns yellow all around it you can then tap on that shutter yourself and you can even use these little arrows right here to modify them and move them around so if you find that the corner was out a little bit you can move it inwards just like that you can choose to keep the scan, retake it, but that gives you more of a custom scan for yourself. That way you don't have an issue. And if we choose to keep the scan right there, it'll also move into all those scans that we just took and they're all in the same file. Now, some of the options at the top of the iPhone you have is a flash. So if you're in a darker scenario, you can tap on that. You can have it set to auto on or off. So if you turn it on, it'll automatically use that flash when you do scan. So for example, I'm gonna hit my scan. You can see it flashes. We also have filters at the top right there. So if we tap on that, we can choose between color, grayscale, black and white, photo, and you can kind of swipe and choose which one you want. So if you did have something with some color, I'll just kind of draw in some blue here. And you do decide to change it over to say black and white or even grayscale, just like that. Now when you hold the camera over, take your photo here or your scan, it scans it. You're gonna see right here, it's now in blue, but when you save it, now it's in grayscale or black and white, whatever you choose. So if you do need to change a colored scan or colored document into black and white or grayscale, you can do that as well. So now all your scans are complete for that specific file, whatever you're doing, you can choose to save it here or preview it right here, resize things, flip them around. You can see there's some options down there to do that. You can change the filter as well there. So you can color grayscale, black and white photo as well after the fact. You can also crop it. So if you do need to make some adjustments, you can just make those adjustments right there, tap done. And that's gonna only work for each one. So each individual one, you're gonna to have to modify separately. 
And if you need to flip them around, let's say you made a mistake on one of the papers, you can do that as well. You can delete individual ones like this one was a mistake. I can just delete that one right out, but keep all the rest in that folder or file there. And I can retake any of the ones that I don't like as well, just like that. And when you're done, just tap done up there and you can tap save. And when you save those five or whatever amount you've taken, you'll be brought back to your notes application here and they'll all appear in that note. And once it's applied to your note, you can do a lot of things with it in here. First off, you can just scroll between them to see all your scans that you just did. You have a little option right here that if you tap, it'll show you all the scans like so, and you can tap between them like that. You also have three dots within that. So you can tap on those three dots and it'll give you a whole bunch of options, allowing you to crop it, change things around your filters again, rotate it, copy it, and even delete it right here. Now, if you wanna print or email this out, the best way to print it is to tap on this little arrow right here. And it's gonna bring up some other options that you have, one of which is to print it. Now, when you tap on print, it opens up an option here where you have your documents. You can see how they'll be printed. You do need to select your printer. If you don't have this set up, you'll need to go through your printer settings and do so. And then you can just print it that way. Additionally, you can email this out and it works pretty much the same. You're just going to tap share up here and all your apps that can be sent through email or that are available to have this type of document sent out will go to mail, or you can just scroll across. You can see Gmail is there for me. Whatever you use, you can tap on it. It'll upload that right in there. You'll see it right here and it saves it as a PDF file. You can send that out to whoever you wanna send this to. Now, while in this section here, you can actually make modifications. So if you do need somebody to sign something or anything like that, you can tap on this little icon here, it brings up your markup tools. So you have pens, pencils, and things like that. So for example, let's say you needed someone to sign a specific area on one of the pages. You can then tap on whatever page it was. So let's just use the one we had there and let's use the highlighter. You can change the colors right here. I've shown a full tutorial on how to use this markup tool, but we'll just keep it simple. And let's just say they needed to sign here. So we're just going to highlight right there. It's now going to be there on the scan when you send it out to them. This is optional. It's just extra features. You can also have your signature put right in here. If you tap on that plus, if you've added a signature to your iPhone, you can actually just pre-sign things this way and then send them back to other people. So you can scan documents that somebody has sent you or even download them and then even use them just like this, sign your papers, things like that. I've also shown videos on how to use signatures with your iPhone, just check my channel for those. But that's pretty much how you're going to scan documents and use them within the Notes app. But like I said, there's another way. And the other way might be more beneficial to you or useful for you, and that's using the Files application. So we'll open up files and files will open up most likely in recent or browse wherever it opens up. It doesn't really matter. You can always tap around, but the main thing you're going to be using is this option up here. That way you can scan your document and scanning documents is exactly the same. When you tap on it, it opens up your scanner app on the iPhone. You have all the same options that we used within the notes app. So nothing new to learn there. The one thing you'll notice though, when you do put your piece of paper down is the scanner is blue. The files app is blue, so the scanner is going to be blue. Now I'm just going to tap on the shutter here just to keep things simple. I'm not gonna be accurate with how I scan, but I do wanna show you exactly how it's going to look and how it's going to work. So we have our scan. Again, you can retake it, all the same stuff, just like the notes app. We'll keep it just so I can get to the next step here. And we're just going to save it down here. Now the difference when you save things to the files app is that it pops up like this. Files app is very similar to using files and folders on your computer. You have a whole bunch of them here. A lot of people don't know it's there and it gives you the ability to save things and create folders and organize documents and things like that. I did a full tutorial on files, I believe on my channel, if you wanna learn how it all works. But basically you can change the name here now of the document, we can call it scan one, just for this example. And we can even add tags. Tags are just a way that you can find things later. Not really relevant for this video, but you do have that option. And then you can just tap return, it'll pull it down and you can choose now where you wanna save it. So right now it's just gonna save it in this document here. For me, it just went to the iCloud drive, but you can choose a folder here. So if I select the new scans folder that I just created, I can put it in there or I can create a brand new folder. Just tap up there, tap new folder. And this could be titled anything you want. You could say lawyer files, whatever. And then we tap done. 
And now you'll see the folder's empty. You've got your title here. You can tap save. It'll save that scan right into that folder. If we go to browse and we look for lawyer files, there it is, our scan. And we can do all the same things we could do in the notes app and more. So if you do tap and hold on that document, there's all the options you have. So sharing it, you can delete it, printing, all of that is gonna be here as well. So we tap share. We have emails again, same with that Gmail down there. You can print it down here. So you can tap print, you'll see how it's going to look, the layout and all of that. You also have the ability right here to tap and hold and compress it. So if it's too large, you can compress this down. It'll zip it down if you have multiple scans inside and it'll make it a little bit smaller. In this case, it just took off 0.1 megabytes, not much at all, but you can then send that out in a zipped format if that's what you need to do. And the great thing too is if you have a whole folder here, you can actually tap and hold on the folder and you can send this whole folder. So if you've been scanning things over a period of time, you can now share that right over. You can try to email it if it's not too big, send it through messages, airdrop it, whatever you wanna do, but it gives you more options than the notes application. Deleting any of these is the same. You can tap the three dots up here, tap select. You can then tap on all of them if you wanna delete them all or change things around down here if you'd like or you can then just tap and hold on each individual one, scroll down, tap the lead if you don't want it. And the good thing too, you have a garbage can here. So if you do delete things here, just tap browse a whole bunch of times and it'll take you to a page like this. And if you tap on recently deleted, you'll be able to see your scan here that was recently deleted. So if you wanna bring it back, you can. So that's pretty much how you scan documents, files, folders, photos, and things like that with your iPhone using the free applications that come with the phone and you don't have to pay or worry about in-app purchases. I hope you enjoyed this. If you're looking for more tips, tricks, and tutorial videos on the new iPhone 15s, 14s, 13s, 12s, and future iPhones, definitely check out the link in the description. There's hundreds of iPhone tutorials that are very beneficial for you to get the most out of your iPhone. If this video was helpful, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and click the bell notification box so you're notified when I post another video, and I'll see you in the next one.